almost there. It's the texture that bothers me. I can stand the bitterness of texture. Gooey, chunky. What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be doing something a little bit different. Um, we're gonna be doing an aloe vera detox um, cleanse. And the reason I wanted to do it is because, as some of you may know, I was diagnosed with ulcerative colitis about seven or eight years ago. And this was one of the things that really helped me um, heal from it. So I continuously do it once a week or once every two weeks, sometimes once a month. Um, but even if you don't have that, you can do this once a week or once every two weeks um, just to cleanse out your body and it really cleanses out your body. So that's another thing. If you're doing this, you wanna make sure you have nothing important going on that night or that day. Um, if you do it right before bed, which is when I typically do it, I make sure I have nothing going on in the morning because it has a laxative type of effect because it's getting rid of all of that lining in your colon. So um, yeah, we're gonna do this right now. So you can get these from Publix, you can get this from Whole Foods, wherever you have a supermarket, farmer's market, they should have it. Some of you grow it, so that's even better. So grab it and we're gonna get started right here, right now. So a lot of you know that aloe has a lot of healing properties, antioxidants, it's an antibacterial, it's been known to help heal um, stomach issues, stomach ulcers, and help with digestion plus it's good for your hair and your skin, whether you ingest it or you put it on your hair and your skin. So if you have leftover, I always recommend saving it and um, putting it on your skin or even for sunburns, wounds like that. So first thing you wanna do, like I said before, don't have anything going on because it's gonna make you crap a lot. So um, grab your aloe and the first thing you're gonna wanna do is wash it. I've already washed mine. You can either wash yours um, with vinegar, lemons, um, you can use boiling water and just dip it in there to kill the bacteria. You want to make sure you wash your produce. Please wash your produce so you don't get some kind of sickness or anything like that. The second thing you're going to want to do is cut these thorns off because you don't want that to cut your stomach. It's not going to feel good at all. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do now is cut. I cut this part off too. Sometimes I'll save this little bit. And I'm just putting it in a bowl right here. Oops, I didn't even cut the thorns off. Look at me. Making a mistake already. It's because I'm nervous. But, oh, another thing. You'll see my orange juice that I have. I'm gonna cut this over the sink so I can just take it out after. So you'll see I have orange juice. The reason for that is for the taste. Aloe vera does not taste good at all. It tastes pretty bad. So you're gonna wanna get some kind of orange juice. If you wanna, you know, stick tough it out with water, be my guest. It's very bitter and the texture is pretty gross too. It I would refer it to some, I would um, say what it reminds me of, but I don't know if it's appropriate for my channel, but it's gooey and you, you get it. If you get it, you get it. So cut it up <laughs> and have a little bit of orange juice. I don't put a lot in. You want to keep the skin on. The reason why is because this is what's going to scrape out your colon and kind of get rid of all that buildup in there. And this is also... Um, a way better laxative, um, a way better alternative to like taking laxatives and stuff like that because that just strips your body of nutrients, gives you diarrhea. This actually has nutrients and vitamins in it, vitamin D, tons of minerals. So try this and like I said, do it once a week maximum. Don't do it too much because that's not good for your body to constantly put it through that much stress. But this definitely helped me heal my colon, so hopefully it can help you too. So we're gonna put it, you can use a Nutribullet, you can use um, a blender, don't use a juicer. Again, don't use a juicer. Ooh, it's sticky. So you're gonna put it in. See, it's so pretty inside. It's like gooey. 
I'm not going to do a lot right now because I just did this about a week ago and I'm going to save a lot of it for my face, put it on my face later tonight. So I'm going to do, I think, one more. That's fine. Usually about half. So if it's just you alone, do half. If you have a partner or someone, a friend you want to do it with, you guys can split a whole one. And like I said, I do it at night before bed. Usually it's a little early right now, but I'm just going to get an early start tomorrow then. So put it in this and half of it is in there. Then we're going to pour a little OJ because it tastes so bad. Ooh. And wash my, rinse my hair off a little bit. Rinse that. It's in there. Orange juice, aloe. Ooh. And you want to chug this too because it doesn't taste good. I had a friend I did this with and she actually was chewing on the chunks of aloe like it was a smoothie. It kind of freaked me out a little bit. She knows who she is. <laughs> so you want to put it in there and we're going to blend it. it for too long or not enough we'll find out it's gonna be thick it's not gonna smell good but wish me luck I'm gonna drink it straight from here I was gonna pour it in a glass but I will drink it all here we go mm. this is so disgusting Really gross, but I'm gonna finish it. <laughs> I like to think of it like if you can drink alcohol, which I drink alcohol, that tastes like shit and it's bad for you, you can drink this that also tastes like shit. It doesn't it actually doesn't taste too bad with orange juice because it kind of kills the taste or lemon juice. But if you can do this, it's still good for you. So we're gonna chug away. texture that bothers me. I can stand the bitterness of texture. Gooey. Chunky. We're almost there. Keep thinking of the benefits. Some people might feel this a lot faster. I've realized too than others. Some people feel in a few hours. They'll have to go to the bathroom. Some people it's taken like a day or two but cleans you out, resets your body, releases toxins from your body. So super, super good to do. Mm. Once you guys try this, you'll know what texture I'm talking about. <laughs> Almost done. If you don't like somebody, give them this and tell them it's a smoothie good for them. No, don't do that. I'm joking. It's good for them in the long run, so you'd be helping them out. Mm. Okay, I'm done. That's enough of that. Woo. So I used my little Nutribullet. And you'll notice too, afterwards, you probably will have a burst of energy It'll give you a lot of energy and you'll feel really good. And then a little while after, a few hours later, your stomach's gonna start churning. You might feel a little bit of discomfort, like a little bit of a stomach ache, but you'll release it all in the bathroom. You'll feel so much better. And that's pretty much it. Like I said before, wash your produce, save the rest for later, um, put it on your face, anything like that. And I hope you all enjoy. If you enjoyed it, please.
give it a thumbs up. I'm like choking on this stuff. But if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. And please drop your comments below. I would love to hear how this worked out for you and how you felt afterwards and things like that. So, Or if you have any questions, ask away. And I will see you all next time.